Um.
Hello, welcome back to another Brookdale Esports match. We are here with a Rocket League uh, game day today. Um, as you can see, we have two matches. We have Brookdale versus Lackawanna and Brookdale versus Wake Tech. I believe a bunch of our uh, other esports teams actually face Lackawanna this week. So uh, we've been actually managing to beat them pretty well. So hopefully a Rocket League can do the full sweep on uh, on Lackawanna. That will be our 6 p.m. match. And then our 7 p.m. will be against Wake Tech, which I do believe we faced them already. Uh, not too sure. But um, right now, uh, our Brookdale Rocket League team seems to be ready and preparing to go. We are just waiting a little bit just for the matches to get started. But uh, till then, as you can see, I'm alone. There's like no one here. I'm just solo casting for today. Um, that's just because, you know... I was the only guy here, and <laughs> I usually do Rocket League. Um, I can do other games as well, but uh, yeah, I mean, that's no one else really here today, so I'm going to just have fun with this, because what else is there to do? But um, I mean, our Rocket League team has, I think, went one and one last week, and they've, they've, been, they've been winning, they've been losing, you know. Mixture of both, but uh, this there's been some two and zero weeks, but um, recently they've been doing some one and one. So hopefully they can grab a two zero and just secure that playoff spot, uh, and make sure every Brookdale team gets a gets a playoff game. So um, I think we should be. I mean, the game should be going on soon. Uh, not yet though. But um, for right now, we're just gonna just hang out um basically a lot of things have happened um and now i'm getting an update that milo pingu and yeet are actually playing tonight so they are going to be the today's starters um might see some changes i believe milo pingu and yeet are the starters always um milo is usually the one who's always in the back line protecting the goal yeet and pingu are the ones trying to get the ball forward so um usually um, sometime, or, oh, just got some random some music there, but, <laughs> um, usually they are the ones who, they, I think they've been starting every match since, actually last week they, uh, we didn't have one of them start, I think it was Honor instead of, uh, Milo or Yeet, so, uh, definitely... Definitely uh, just the same lineup. You, I mean, it's been working somewhat, you know. Um, hopefully, there, there's some things they should have fixed. Usually, uh, it was a um, too many shots on net. Uh, they would they, they this this team usually concedes a lot of shots on net uh, when they're basically taken over by a much better team. So. You know, uh, hopefully they fix up on that. Maybe get some, you know, find some ways to to concede less shots. Because I mean, it, it usually sometimes they're not blowouts, but other times it's it's it gets too much where it's like 30 shots on net, and it's just like, guys, you gotta you gotta produce some offense. We are getting ready for the match right now. Um, they are starting up soon. Uh, usually, usually these matches are pretty quick. I mean, once one match finishes, they are back in the lobby and start one basically instantly. So that's the great thing about Rocket League. You really don't have to wait until um, the next match is up. So basically, we're just playing the waiting game, and then we'll get right into it. But uh, yeah, I mean... A lot of things have gone on in the world, you know? Um, that guy, uh, that guy. Um, so the guy who created Dragon Ball Z passed away. That's unfortunate. Rest in peace, Toriyama. Uh, big influence on everything. Um, and he, may he rest in peace. He's a good guy. Or he must have been a good guy. Everyone usually said he was, so. Um, yeah, impacted a lot of childhoods, but we're into the match. We have, uh, Brookdale starting off two men up front, one in the back, because we have Pingu 
trying to get the shot off. Milo with the average defensive play like he always does, you know, always gets the ball right back, flowing into the offensive line. Lackawanna has control, as we see. And now we have Milo and Pingu all crowding the net, taking a more uh, advantage position or a very more aggressive position this game. You don't really see Milo going up too much. Milo there with the save. Lackawanna takes one, takes the first shot of the game. Another chance created for Lackawanna. Good thing Yeet was there just to save it out of there. Lackawanna is just rotating, taking a bunch of shots, which is basically the main weakness of Brookdale's. They keep taking some bunch of shots. Fortunately, Lackawanna doesn't score somehow. The ball was just bouncing up and down on the line. Nothing, nothing for Lackawanna after that. Here we go with Pingu rolling it back into Brookdale's half or into Lackawanna's half. Lackawanna pushes it back into Brookdale. Another explosion by Lackawanna. They've been, I think they're up to three so far in the first minute and a half. Brookdale goes up for it. Unfortunately misses, but doesn't miss that one. Pingu there to help score all by himself. Milo takes it all the way. After intercepting the air, after intercepting the air uh, shot, takes it all the way. Perfect play by uh, Brookdale right there. Good counterattack. We have uh, Milo coming in, rotating the ball as usual. Unfortunately, he does lose out on that. Lackawanna looking for an instant response. Fortunately, nothing there. Another explosion by Lackawanna. Another demo. Milo rotating up front now since uh, the demo. And we have Pingu trying to reach. Unfortunately, just can't. Lackawanna pushes it back into their own half. Interesting uh, interesting play. Let's see how it works out. Brookdale just sneaks it right back. Chance put up there. No one there to sink it in, unfortunately. Here we go, Milo. Milo just completely on the defensive position. Another demo for Lackawanna. Up to like six or seven now. Another save by Brookdale, though. Beautiful. Looking to go on the counter. Unfortunately, cannot. Brookdale gets absolutely outplayed on the counter. Ball taken back by Lackawanna. And uh, it's now a 1-1 game. Unfortunately, they were too aggressive on that counterattack and left basically only one person. And it was just game over. It was uh, all written from there. Lackawanna, another... Taking another shot from from kickoff and scores. Catching Brookdale off guard. That's unfortunate. Seemed like Brookdale was a little bit out of position. Pingu trying to save it. Could not. Milo was not. Milo couldn't. Did, I don't believe he had the boost to get up there and save it as well. So Brookdale is now down 2-1 one, one after leading 1-0 for a good, a good amount of time. Hopefully they can answer back. Good shot on net. Fortunately, no one there for Brook to capitalize. And another demo by Lackawanna. Two demos by Lackawanna. It's now, I think it's up to like 9 or 10. Really, really taking the phys physicality part of Rocket League to uh, another level. Here we go, Brookdale. Oh, unfortunately, Pingu gets faked, I think. Doesn't seem like Lackawanna was trying to go for the first man to touch it. But Lackawanna trying their best. They're... Playing pretty well for uh, for just having 20 shots on net at this point. Lackawanna shoots, scores, top bottom left corner. It's the same story of Brookdale. I mean, they just take like 18,000 shots to the net and hoping like they can just counter it, but it's not really going to work out if they just. Um, I mean, they don't. They, don't they, they really just kind of concede too many shots on net, which is, I think, the problem for them. And it's an instant goal. Oh my God, the ball just rolled around. Lackawanna takes another one. It seems like all said and done for Lackawanna. Um, there is a minute 30, and anything could happen, obviously. But Lackawanna just easily scored that with ease. I mean, it was like no Brookdale players there to really look at it. Milo bringing it up. Usually the person, he's always usually in the back. Unfortunately, none of the Brookdale players can put it in. 
Brookdale finally gets a demo after uh, four minutes of gameplay. Here we go with uh, Lackawanna taking another chance. They are just passing it around. Basically, none of the Brookdale players seem to be able to. It's, it seems like a rusty start by Brookdale. I mean, they are really off with their with their connections on the ball, and they're just getting outplayed every single way. Yeet gets it demoed. That's up to like 13, 14 demos at this point. It's raising up the score. <laughs> um, here we go, Milo rotating the ball back into their half. Definitely the strength of the team. Yeet, fortunately, can't lose control, goes into lo into our half. Lackawanna takes another demo. They're just exploding us in every way possible. Lackawanna looking for a fifth. Fortunately, no one's there. Milo taking it all the way, seeing if he can get some type of goal. Fortunately, nothing comes of it. Five seconds left. Seems like it's all said and done. Lackawanna for one final demo, and that's it. Wait. Now it's that it. All right. Yeah, uh, Lackawanna take that game 4-1 in the series. They take a 1-0 lead. Um... Same story as always by Brookdale in which uh, take a lot of shots on goal and try to hope to counter it, and nothing really happens. Um, pretty rough game for I Brookdale. It was like two or three goals that kind of it seemed like they fell asleep and um, they didn't have a chance to uh, really notice. There was a ball that usually that would uh, that wrapped around actually and just completely sidestepped into the net. And, yeah, some pretty pretty interesting goals, but um, hopefully Brookdale can realize that uh, maybe just a different way of playing would probably be the better way of going about this series because Lackawanna seemed pretty pretty on point with all their passes and all their shots. There was some missed shots from the here and there, and actually one of their missed shots ended up leading into a goal for Brookdale, but uh, that only happened once. We did also we also had a couple chances, uh, but here we are with the next game. Uh, hopefully Brookdale can grab uh, this game, make it a 1-1 series. Milo starting off the attack, loses the ball. Pingu sends it in, scores 1-0 for Brookdale. That's exactly what you need. Brookdale ends up with a nice demo at the end there, but perfect start eight seconds in. Hopefully Brookdale can keep up this momentum, be a little bit more on the aggressive side. Two, a double demo comes in. Brookdale and Lackawanna. It's a 2v2 for a couple seconds. Nice pass, self pass from Pingu. Puts it in. That's 2 0 Brookdale. That's exactly the response you want from that last game. Pingu does it himself, sends it in, and one of the Lackawanna players just put it in his own net. Milo taking an aggressive approach. Usually he's a defensive midfielder, defensive player on this team, but has uh, really pushed up high. Put, pushed up a high line for his recent playings. But um, here we go, Milo centering the ball, trying to put it in himself. Seems like a lot of the Brookdale players are trying to just make a, a lot of solo plays, and they're working. So, you know, keep doing it. That's what I'm thinking. But um, here we go with Lackawanna, three men behind the ball. Unfortunately, gets demoed Milo. There's Pingu just perfectly saved that. Lackawanna trying to put it up there again. Saved again. Pingu with some nice defensive plays. You usually see him on the offensive side, but completely saves it. And just hits off the crossbar. Lackawanna just can't put it in. Pingu again cleaning the ball. Now he's trying to take it all the way. Milo swings and misses. Unfortunately, he's down in the corner. They're going to be a two on three for a little bit. Nice save by Pingu. Milo, it's just going all over the place, but unfortunately Lackawanna puts it in the net. It was too chaotic. Pingu tried his best. Milo and Yeet all tried their best, but it was just not enough. Here we go with, uh, now it's 2-1 Brookdale. Hopefully uh, Brookdale can respond to that. Yeet with a nice ball in. Unfortunately, Lackawanna takes care of it. Pingu bumps one of them out of the way. Milo tries to secure another shot. Can't, or actually does. Yeet tries to put it in. Fortunately, saved by Lackawanna. Yeet 
Send the ball right back in the right back into the uh, Lackawanna goal. They are keeping up the pressure, which is good to see. You know, you don't really see. I mean, they've been playing on the they've been playing a little scared lately, so it's good to see them like going up all in their face and taking it to them. Brookdale seems to have a little bit of a problem in the back line right now. No, oh, and unfortunately that leads to Lackawanna putting in the game tying goal. Um, yeah, it seemed like uh, seemed like it was a lot of players out of position. Didn't know what was happening, but um, it's two two Brookdale Lackawanna. Uh, Brookdale really need this game. They don't really want to go down two nothing and try to win three straight. That's just hard as itself. Lackawanna just lets the ball basically roll in. Brookdale scores three two. What a win off the faceoff. Pingu jumps over one car and just rolls that ball in while the other two Lackawanna players were trying to get their boosts in and just couldn't recover. What a perfect response. Demoed, unfortunately, right off the rip by Lackawanna. Lackawanna does not want to re just want to respond uh, pretty early, so they are taking all the shots right now. Yeet loses the ball, unfortunately, and that's a goal by Lackawanna. It's 3-3. Three, three. This game is back at fourth. I mean, you can't really can't really tell where it's going. Fortunately, I think there was a mishap in the back line again as well. But um, and there's another demo for Lackawanna. They're just exploding everyone. Nice shot by Lackawanna. Unfortunately, good uh, good save though. But another demo goes to Lackawanna as well. Lackawanna takes a shot from the corner and scores. It's a great curving shot. I think uh, Brookdale kind of expected it to like maybe bounce off or bounce off the post or something or the bar and fortunately did not. Lackawanna having a 4-3 lead after being down 2-0. It's pretty demoralizing for Brookdale if they end up losing this. Looked like the game was in their control but seemed like uh, seems like they're doing things on the offensive side, but now the defensive side is struggling. So um, we need to hopefully get an even pattern on these type of things. As we see uh, Lackawanna having it in Brookdale's half. Brookdale trying to just create any chance they can, and Lackawanna gets another demo. I mean, it just the physical side of Rocket League, they are winning it all. I think it's like 20 – it's like – 20 demos to one, to like two or three. Somehow Lackawanna does not put that in the net. Brookdale sent it halfway across the field into the into the Lackawanna net for a 4-4, making this a tie game with one minute and 11 seconds to go. This is a, this is a very good game of Rocket League going on. Brookdale looking to get another one right off the rip. Fortree, uh Ball can't make it past the first defender. One minute remaining. Here we go with Yeet. Trying to keep it in. Dribbling it around. Makes one miss. Unfortunately, just doesn't. Unfortunately, one of the balls does ricochet into our own net. It's actually a really good shot by them. I think it was a good deflection. So, But 51 seconds left. 5-4. Four, five, five, four, Lackawanna. It's pretty rough right now. Um... You know, defensive, defensively, Brookdale's usually better than this, but um, it's just a little bit rough. We got double demoed, triple demos. So now we're, uh, it's a 2v3 for a couple seconds, but here we go. Ball getting pushed up right off the post, or right off the top bar. Fortunately, could not go in. Lackawanna's just trying to keep this ball in our own half. I don't even think they're trying to score. I think they're just trying to have it into our own half. Milo pushes it out. Unfortunately, gets demoed. Pingu sends the ball in. Unfortunately, Yi can't get it. Eight seconds left. Brookdale need a miracle. Three, two. Yeah, unfortunately, Brookdale needs someone to hold the ball up, and unfortunately, it bounces off right in front of the net, meaning Lackawanna takes a 2-0 lead in the series, 5-4. Um, good, I mean, that player, CJ, uh, for Lackawanna, completely destroyed Brookdale with a bunch of shots. I mean, 
Um, you know, usually uh, Brookdale is better defensively. Uh, that was a little bit of a rough game um, defensive-wise, but, you know, offensively they looked pretty good. And um, if they just connect those two together, I think we'll get a better – better a better showing from them so but um you know now brookdale has to win three straight to uh to grab this series unfortunately don't think the sweep on lackawanna will be happening if they can't so um we're just gonna have to wait for game three i believe one of our coaches came in i think we have a timeout or just a pause in the match so um right now we're just kind of waiting um so but yeah i think uh brookdale again looked good on offense looks pretty not too shabby but uh and we're back into the game brookdale hoping to grab the f his their first game of the series and try to win three straight they started off last game scoring immediately two in the first like 30 seconds so hopefully brookdale can do rep replicate the same but it seems like lackawanna has it all under control for now, it seems like. Uh, but Brookdale pushes the ball into Lackawanna, makes the first defender miss. Second defender bounces right off of him. Milo trying to get on the offensive side here, trying to dribble it around everyone. Kind of working out. He's dribbled it past two. Fortunately, they just crowd that one corner, and Brookdale can't really recover from that. It's now a 2v3 on a fast break. Lackawanna, fortunately... Can't get anything going with that fast break. They slowed down a little bit. Milo sending the ball through into the uh, Lackawanna's end. Needs some more aggressiveness. Here we go with Yeet. Fortunately, could not put enough power into that. Easily saved by Lackawanna. Yeet trying to rotate the ball again back in there. He's trying to get as much offense as he can. Ball rolls, just missed the net. Pingu just unfortunately does not get it, but Milo's always there to save it. Pingu right in front of the net, tries the bank shot, tries the deflection shot, and uh, just could not get it. Milo there to save it again, double tap. Pingu putting it back into one and a half. Unfortunately gets demoed. He trying to play the slow game, see where he's going. Does beat him out, tries to get a little bit, just to keep the ball in there. Unfortunately, Pingu does not win it. And now it's back into Brookdale's half. And Bro Lackawanna, a great shot. Top right corner. Honestly, the one place I, I believe Yeet wasn't. So, a little rough start for Brookdale. They don't really want that. Oh, fortunately, Milo just... Um, fortunately, Milo cannot put the ball into the net. Right there. Um... Seems like Brookdale's struggling to just uh, either be really good defensively or really good uh, offensively. They can't really put two and two together. It's a little rough right now, but hopefully they can. Uh, they have two minutes and 40 seconds, so there's plenty of time for them to come back. As I say that, Lackawanna is pushing it through. Just couldn't. No one there to just push the ball through again off the bar. No one there to just finish it off. Milo, f fully on just the offensive end. Unfortunately, gets outnumbered 3v1. Yeet wins the ball back, actually. Sends the ball through. And uh, unfortunately, no one there as well to get it. Milo sends the ball in. Fortunately, one man that was there got demoed. Pingu sends it back in there. We are... A lot of offensive, a lot of creating chances and offensive pressure put, putting on by Brookdale. Milo sends it in, and it's scored by Yeet. Another goal to Yeet. Perfect play. Milo kind of just putting up a dummy, basically a uh, little dummy play where he just faked out he was going to shoot it, and uh, Yeet was there just to basically throw his car there. <laughs> Milo unfortunately gets demo. That's a pretty bad sign. He is the main defender for this team. Fortunately, uh, we just lose Pingu. Yeet back for defense. He does know how to. Does know how to. He's had his fair share of uh, defensive plays this game, so 
Uh, Lackawanna, unfortunately, puts it into the net with 1 minute 29 seconds to go. Um, pretty, it seemed like Brookdale just had like um, no one there to just, I don't know what happened there. It, feel like, it felt like Brookdale was kind of AFK for a second uh, while defending, so. But, um, you know, plenty of time, minute 14 for Brookdale to tie it up and hopefully grab a, that goal just to send it into overtime or something. Milo, fortunately, misses the misses the save, but Yeet is, or Pingu is there. Yeet trying to take it all the way. Oh, unfortunately, just gets saved off the line. He was trying to go the distance. Fortunately, cannot put it in the net. Here we go, Pingu. Trying to keep up some offensive pressure, but a demo does not help Brookdale in this situation with 40 seconds left. Every second counts. Milo shoots it, and what a shot from the top, from the left corner. I mean, mid-air, hard angle to take that shot from and just curves it in the net. I don't know how he did that, but, you know, Rocket League players find a way. Tied 2-2, Brookdale and Lackawanna. Yeet misses, unfortunately. Pingu and Milo are there to back up. Miss Pingu trying to send it back into their own half. 20 seconds left. 2 2. Brookdale does need this win to push a game four and keep the series alive. Milo trying his best to get it out of there. Unfortunately, Yeet does go out to a demo. That is not what you want. Milo just tries to get the tiniest touch just to clear it. Pingu, fortunately, keeps it out of there. We are back. We are now into an overtime game mode, or into the overtime game. First goal wins it. Hopefully, Brookdale can uh, sneak one in, get, push a momentum. This is definitely a win. Would definitely push our momentum in the right direction. Fortunately, Lackawanna has three people behind the ball at all times. Seems like, and another demo. It's now a two v three for a couple of seconds. Unfortunately. Milo with a good save right there. Perfect. One of the boosts does get taken. Milo there again. Just can't stop him from saving things. Milo there again. Three in a row. Fortunately, just misses the ball. Perfect save there by Yeet though. Milo trying to shift the ball into their own into the into Lackawanna's half. Good center from halfway across the field. Milo sends it back in, or Milo saves it. Fortunately, Lackawanna could not put it in the net. It was an open net for one of those players and just could not send it through. Brookdale, staying alive. Multiple demos, it's a one, it's basically a 2v1. Now it's a 2v2, everyone is back. Does take a couple seconds to respawn from a demo. Yeet, Fortune misses the ball. Lackawanna tries to put it in the net. Milo saves it. Milo trying his best to go on the offensive end and try to create something. I mean, he's done he's done that already this series, so wouldn't hold that against him. Lackawanna does take another shot at net. Yeet saves it though. Hopefully, uh, yeah, at least one good counter from for Brookdale. It seems like Lackawanna's had the ball the entire overtime at this point. Here comes Yeet, or I'm sorry, Pingu. Milo, back there always to defend. Hopefully, he can just clear it out or take a good shot. Fortunately, there was a defender back there. Milo. They to recover it, but two demos already. Lackawanna is really controlling this overtime with possession and demos. Milo, good save right there. Tingu trying to keep it out just away from the net so we can get some offensive possession. There you go with uh, Yeet. Milo trying his best to just 
keeping the ball in their half. We do need some offense in this overtime. It's first man's first whoever scores wins. Demoed. Left and right. I mean, it's just a very interesting game. No one's taking a shot so far. Pengu's taking all, trying to go all the way. Unfortunately, saved by one of the Lackawanna players. Pengu. Pingu and Yid are uh, stepping up the momentum with their offensive uh, prowess. Yeet gets demoed. Unfortunately, Milo tried to take it all the way, trying to do his solo play. Could not. Nice center of the ball by Yeet. Unfortunately, no one there. Pingu takes a shot, almost hits, almost sneaks the ball in. Unfortunately, could not. Yeet, Milo, back to defend. I love just always there just to save the ball. Wins the aerial as well. Problem is, there's always three men back for Lackawanna. Eat intercepts the ball. Pingu shoots, unfortunately, saved by one of the Lackawanna players. It's a good defense and offensive team, Lackawanna. Here we go with Yeet. Trying his best to just, you know, create something out of nothing. Oh, Yeet gets the ball back. Unfortunately, one of the Lackawanna players does connect with his aerial. Yeet. Pingu up front. There's always there, but there's Milo always there to save the ball. We are at a four minute overtime. I mean, wow, we are, we have been here for a while. Fortunately, Unfortunately, Milo there always to save the ball. Lackawanna has just not connected with any of their shots to finish the finish finish the game off. But Brookdale has some pretty good chances this overtime as well. Eat sending the ball in, not chasing. Milo had a free shot on net, puts it in. Overtime goal extends the series. Five minutes of overtime. And Milo, the man who's usually known for his defensive plays and his goalkeeping and everything, puts it in and scores for himself. Makes this a 2-1 series. Pushes us to a game four as well. I can't believe it. You know, it looked rough there. I mean, Lackawanna was uh, shooting left and right that entire, I think it was the first two or three, two and a half minutes uh, overtime. Lackawanna was just kind of, was a, uh, Putting a lot of pressure into Brookdale, and uh, it seemed like uh, at any moment Lockwood was going to score, but Milo just kept saving everything. He had like three saves in a row, and it was a uh, guy was unbeatable. He was like prime Iker Casillas, you know. It's, you couldn't you couldn't stop him, but um, you know, puts it in the net. Milo is the hero of that match, saving, scoring. What can't he do, basically? Um, Pingu and and Yeet were applying a lot of pressure. There was a lot of shots uh, that could have went in from overtime. There was a corner shot that uh, almost went in, almost snuck through, but unfortunately just could not. But uh, I do like, I mean, it was a good defensive, uh, good defensive game. Great offensive game as well. Uh, whenever they got the chances, Brookdale. So, But here we go with the next match, game four. Brookdale hoping to grab this game and uh, push the series to a game five. Anyone win or any anything can happen in a game five. Who knows that? Milo, Pingu. Unfortunately, Pingu and Yeet bump into each other. But Milo, they had to try to clean it up or just apply some pressure. Yeet with the ball possessed. Lays it up in the air for Milo. Milo taking a more offensive uh, more offensive. Uh, stand in this game. Fortunately, Lackawanna manages to score. I believe Yeet missed uh, one of the aerials and uh, just couldn't, yeah, couldn't put enough uh, contact onto the ball and winds up in Brookdale's net. Not the start you really want to be for Brookdale, but they have been down before. Milo centering the ball, unfortunately, both Lackawanna players just clear that out. There's always a Lackawanna player everywhere. Yeet sending the ball in, or sending the ball out, trying to clear it. Pingu gets demoed. I think the demos are like a blowout at this point. It's like 40 to like five at this point. I'm not counting, I'm just guessing. 
Yeet sends the ball, tries to solo with his aerial. Fortunately, just couldn't. Milo keeping the ball in check. Brookdale having a lot of a uh, lot of possession in the in their in the Lackawanna half, which is uh, pretty new. You know they haven't uh, haven't had this type of possession in a long time, but um, it's good to see it. Good uh, good signs to get that equalizer. We see Yeet sending the ball in. Unfortunately, could not create anything there. Another demo by Lackawanna. We're reaching, uh, we're reaching crazy levels from uh, the demo comparisons. Pingu somehow dodges two with the ball and sends it into their own half. Seems like Lackawanna has like scored once and now they just kind of want to defend, uh, you know, park the bus. Some Jose Mourinho type uh, play style right there. So, but um, Lackawanna sending it back into our own half, but just saved by Yeet. Perfect. Off the line. Saved by Yeet. It was a Lackawanna player ready there to shoot. And just perfectly saved by Brookdale. Keeping it a 1-0 scoreline with 2 minutes and 30 to go. Fortunately, Lackawanna has a chance. Misses. Hits off the post. Lackawanna is just wasting these chances. Left and right. Yeet. Deflecting uh, the ball, keeping in Lackawanna's half. Here's Pingu trying to make a play. Unfortunately, cannot. Lackawanna's there to answer. Here we go with Yeet. Known goal scorer for Brookdale. I think he is the top goal scorer for this team. I haven't heard too much, a lot of him, but. Nice save by Pingu. Yeet. Perfect. Perfect aerial. Save that. Milo and Yeet trying to get rid of the ball, trying to play the waiting game on these guys. Fortunately, Fortunately does go into the net. Lackawanna takes a 2-0 lead. They were doing pretty well, but uh, it seemed like, you know, um, just too much uh, waiting and not enough, uh, not enough uh, applying any pressure. It was a lot of it was a lot of it was a big waiting game to see where that ball was going out of the corner and uh fortunately Lackawanna takes a takes a two nothing lead. Brookdale does have one minute thirty to even it up. Milo just misses the aerial, really close on that one. Milo's already back to defend. If, uh, Brookdale want to want to Brookdale needs to score. They need to do it now. Nice centered ball. Unfortunately, the shot on net does not go through, and the second shot wasn't didn't have enough power on it. Took a like a, swipe, a weird curve on it. Milo keeping the aerial, keeping the ball alive in this in this half. Fortunately, Lackawanna is moving the ball up into our own. Nice save by Brookdale. Lackawanna keeping the pressure. They are nonstop shooting. Milo. Trying to feed the ball into Pingu, seeing if he can finish the ball, finish it off. Pingu does score, 2-1. Two, one. Brookda two, one. Brookdale takes, gets something out of 30 seconds left. So, Brookdale does need to go for a full-on three-man attack. No person can leave behind. Yeet wins the faceoff. Good sign for Brookdale, but unfortunately cannot get enough power onto it. Lackawanna goes for an aerial. And answers right back. And it is 3-1 Lackawanna. And I would call that game, unfortunately. 20 seconds left. I mean, Brookdale's going to have to score two in a, man, in a matter of 90 seconds. Somehow rolls the ball in. I guess Lackawanna fell asleep. 13 seconds left. Forget what I said. 13 seconds left. Anything can happen. Brookdale just need to win this face off and see if they can get a good shot on that. You know, all it takes is one shot or one chance created. Face off does win. Pingu. Both demos. Unfortunately, come at a bad time for uh, for Brookdale. Three seconds, two seconds. Ball rolled upon. 
Unfortunately, just touches the floor. And Lackawanna takes the series 3-1 in a 3-2 classic. That's unfortunate. Lackawanna takes the series against Brookdale. Unfortunately, uh, you know, Lock the, the Lackawanna sweep on the, uh, on the all of the esports was not completed. But... Um, there was some good play there. Brookdale did fight back. It wasn't always. It wasn't a blowout. Uh, map one was a little rusty, but every other map, Brookdale looked pretty good. Um, offensively and defensively, I think uh, they kind of put it together that last map. It's pretty good. Um, Milo, you know, saved um, basically everything on game three, um, and then game four, they played. They played. Uh, played pretty well. It's just. Uh, some of the chances just weren't going in, and that's how that's how it is sometimes. Some of the some of the ball sometimes the ball just won't go in the net. It'll hit the post. It'll hit the bar. It'll hit everything. Just not back of the net. But I do believe uh, Brookdale can can bounce back against Wake Tech, which we do have at 7 p.m. Um, Yeet Milo and Pingu, I believe, will probably be the same play. Oh, will be the same lineup. Uh, we have yet to see Explosion this season, I think. Well, he is a new player, so I believe they're just getting him situated for now. And uh, Honor, we did see last week, and I believe we won one match with him. So, But we will see. Um, we will be back uh, a little bit later at 7 p.m., Brookdale versus Wake Tech. Uh, and I'll see you guys later.
All right, welcome back to another Brookdale game day. Uh, we have Brookdale versus Wake Tech. Um, a little lower on that. Um, Brookdale, yeah, Brookdale versus Wake Tech tonight. It's our second match of the day. Uh, we have uh, right. We're oh, we're right into the match. Um, and insta score by Wake Tech. Unfortunately, Brookdale does concede there. Uh, sorry, right off the rip. Fortunately, we do lose possession. Um, as you saw before, Brook or if you didn't see, Brookdale was or did lose the first match against Lackawanna, game four in a close one. But um, they uh they definitely uh put in a lot of a uh, put in put in a good shift. But unfortunately, just couldn't get it done. We have a very more wide open stadium. Brookdale, Milo keeping uh, trying to push the ball in. Fortunately, good shot on net, but just saved by two of the Wake Tech players. Here we go, Milo, Yi, and Pingu. Same uh, same lineup as uh, last matches. Pingu sends the ball through. Yi trying to trying to make a connection with it. Unfortunately, could not. Milo. Staying on the defensive end, trying to trying to do his best to keep the ball away from uh from our half. Been a lot of a uh, oh ball rolls in. Yeet takes a shot. Didn't even see that, but takes a takes a very slow shot and rolls into the bottom left corner. Nice deflected shot. That's perfect by Yeet. Perfectly placed by Wake uh, by Brookdale. Um, Brookdale starting on the offensive half again pushing the ball forward Milo holding just to see where would the ball go does clear it out perfectly into their own half Milo tries to take it himself Yeet just misses the deflection on the aerial Pingu does put it back into the net Yeet fortunately does not uh, could not connect with it Milo Chasing, ball chasing at this point. Pingu there to at least hold the ball forward or just keep it in in Brookdale's area. Seems like Brookdale is having a little bit more of an easy game today, or in this one. A little bit more balanced. They're able to play some offense and do some pretty good stuff on defense. Yeet sends the ball through, takes a shot on net. Unfortunately, saved by two Wake Tech players. They are, Wake Tech is really using that two men in net type of a uh, formation. Milo there to just hold the ball off. And there's Pingu trying to dribble it out. Pass two, but unfortunately could not get it past the last one. It was a two on one for a bit. Milo, fortunately Wake Tech does take the ball away from Milo and puts it in the net. That is rough. Seemed like Brookdale was uh, doing pretty well the whole time, but oh, actually it didn't even, Milo didn't even touch it. It just bounced in a weird direction and Wake Tech uh, secured the goal. Brookdale back in a situation they do not want to be in. And a 2 1, down 2 1. Seems like they've always been down. They've really only had to lead once in the game, and they've lost that game. Milo trying to put the ball into the net, or trying to make something with the ball. Fortunately, does not. Yeet centers it. Nothing going. Wake Tech is dead set on just having that ball. Or just having three men in the net and trying their best. Nice demo by Brookdale. Perfect for them. Fortunately, could not get the deflection to put in to put uh, to put the ball in the net. He pushing, centering the ball and pushes it pushes one of the goalkeepers out of the way. Pingu. Fortunately, his shot could not go through because there was another Wake Tech defender there. Nice demo by. Brookdale, you do really want to see that. Brookdale was like outnumbered like 50 to, f I think it was like six or seven for demos last series. They just get obliterated. They got obliterated everywhere they went. But um, one minute left for Brookdale to secure a tying goal. As I say that, they secure Milo scores again. He's been on the score sheet more than anyone I think today. Anytime you need a goal, go to Milo from halfway across. 
Perfect. Shot by Milo 2-2. Two, two. Let's see if Brookdale can grab another one with one minute left to go in the, in the first map. Yeet. Trying to secure the ball up in the area. Unfortunately, could not. But Milo takes it all the way. Milo trying to do everything he can. He goes yeet. Secures a bit of an aerial, but Fortree does not get enough connection with it to do anything. Milo going all the way. Pingu there. Unfortunately, could not put the ball into the net. Just misses it. Pingu playing a more defensive, or yeet playing a more defensive role right now. Wake Forest, wait, or Wake Tech takes a shot. Fortunately, hits the, fortunately hits the, hits the bar. Yeet. Sending the ball through as uh, Pingu and Milo go to chase. Yeet taking a sh taking a good shot. Unfortunately, nothing there. Ten seconds left. You don't want to concede right now. Nice save by Pingu. Milo trying to just keep the ball away from us. Ball up in the air. Could be something for Brookdale. Yeet trying to balance it. Fortunately. Goes right back into Wake Tech's, Wake Tech's possession. And uh, we are back into overtime. Brookdale's been here already. Five minutes. Uh, they were in a five-minute overtime last game. See if they can secure something quicker than last time. I'm pretty sure they don't want to um, relive that. Five minutes until Milo, I believe, scored. Ooh, voice crack. <laughs> Um, Wake Tech taking a lot of shots. I think this was a story of last overtime they played where the other team just took so many shots, but they seemed like Milo was there to always save it, playing a defensive master class. I think they're trying to recreate it, but I still believe I think they should take an aggressive approach on this. Yeet taking the ball all the way. Pass one. Forty could not lift it a little bit lower to put it in the net. Wake Tech with the possession again. Pingu trying his best to secure it out of the out of uh, Brookdale's half. Yeet completely tries to stop it, but just completely misses. Milo always there to save it though. Wake Tech has three players always behind for this ball. Seems like they're just rotating in halves. Every time it gets to one part of the field, another player touches it. Pretty great, uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good practice. Takes a lot of practice to do that type of stuff, so. Brookdale takes it all the way. Fortunately, or Pingu does take it all the way. Fortunately, could not secure anything from there. Here's Milo. He's been creating magic so far this map. Wins the aerial. Fortunately, could not get past the second man. Pingu, trying his best to create something. Can't. Yeet in the back line, trying to hold hold it down while Milo is recovered. Milo, Fortree tries to get the aerial, but could not get enough on it. Pingu tries his best to win that battle, but loses it. But fortunately, we have Yeet there just to mid-air demo one of the Wake Tech players. Perfect play by him. Milo trying his best to just... Influence something with one of the shots, trying to create something. Milo and Yeet applying pressure. Yeet. Pingu takes one out. Perfect timing for Brookdale to capitalize. Wake Tech is taking the ball to them, though, even with the man down for a couple seconds. Milo trying to go all the way with it. Just hits the post. Yeet recovers, but unfortunately just doesn't... Usually just waiting there, I guess, just to see what, what he could do. Trying to dribble past someone, I believe. Milo. Perfect. Perfect pass. Here we go. Pingu. Trying to create something. Wake Tech unfortunately finishes it. 3-2. That's unfortunate for Brookdale. You really don't want to lose those. <laughs> um, Yeet, fortunately, just couldn't get enough on that uh, on that on that shot, and uh, it just turns into Wake Tech's shot into a Wake Tech goal. My fault. 
forty nine ball touches by one of the one of the players. Milo did play a hell of a game with five shots, one save, one assist, and one goal. So he did play a really great game there. Unfortunate for Brook to lose that one. It seemed like they had a good chance right there um, earlier in the match, but could not put the put, not put the ball in the net, which uh, is a little rough. But um, I think uh, I think next game they can bounce back and you know definitely uh, see if they can uh, secure. That game two win. They definitely do want to win. Um They do they definitely do want to take a win from this uh from today. You know, they do not want to go O two in one of the last weeks in, before playoffs, so they do wanna put themselves on the board. As we can see we are back in. Brookdale does take a shot, unfortunately saved by a Wake Tech player. They are very good defensively, Wake Tech. They're always they always have someone in the back just there to wait to save a shot. Milo does try to create something, unfortunately cannot yeet. Just doesn't get enough air for that aerial. Pingu trying to dribble past a couple. Unfortunately loses the ball. Milo staying back, trying to play defend trying to play goalkeeper. Pingu does save it perfectly. It was gonna sneak into that bottom right corner. Pingu still trying to dribble it around. Unfortunately, they cannot get past the first defender. Here comes Yeet. Milo taking a shot. Two players from Wake Tech are there to save it. That's unfortunate. That was a really good shot. Here we go with Yeet. Trying to see if he can create something. Our uh, natural goal scorer over here. Fortunately, uh, Wake Tech does take possession. Milo does save it, and so does Yeet. What a great save by Yeet. It was going to sneak into that top right corner, and perfectly well done save by Yeet. Here's Pingu. Fortunately, could not create much with that. What a shot by Milo. Unfortunately, there's always a Wake Tech player there. You can't stop them. They're just always somewhere. One of our Brookdale players just to get dribbled past. But we do secure possession with an aerial back into the Wake Tech's half. It's definitely the aggression you want to see. You always want to just be aggressive, most as aggressive as you can be. Wake Tech takes a shot. Unfortunately, fortunately, it gets saved by Milo Yeet, looking to secure. Does secure? Uh, does secure the ball? Pingu roaming around, just looking to looking to poach. Yeet there, perf. Yeet there with the aerial. Unfortunately, misses it. Pingu tries to take a shot. Does not. Milo tries to put it in. The ball is going all over the place except in the net. That's unfortunate, really. Hit the post a couple of times. Good saves by Wake Tech. You can't fault him for that. Playing some great defense today. This is exactly how you want Brooklyn to play, though. You do want them to be aggressive as they can. Unfortunately, Milo's hit does not go that far and stays in Brookdale's half. Pingu keeps the ball towards them, towards Wake Tech. Milo trying his best to uh, secure some possession for Brookdale. We've had a lot of it. Pingu does uh, save the ball from any of Wake Tech's players. Unfortunately, Wake Tech is always there with an aerial. That's a three on two. This should be Brookdale goal. It is one nothing Brookdale. Seems like one of the Wake Tech, Wake Tech players tried to go over aggressive on their defensive play. Nice bounce, nice uh, bounce up by uh, Pingu. Right over the player and chips him over to a one nothing lead for Brookdale. Perfect for Brookdale, you do want to secure at least something. Definitely want this game two more than anything. Don't want to go down 2-0 again. That's impo it's, uh, almost impossible to come back from. Brookdale is taking a couple shots at net. Fortunately, fortunately, they were able to clear it out. Wake Tech was there to secure the ball back. Milo always as well. Trying to work, his, work the ball into their possession. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Um, so, 
Ball right back into Brookdale's possession, trying to yeet, trying to trying to create a play here. One minute remaining with 1-0. Brookdale definitely does want to at least get another goal in there, just to have like a little cushion, just in case anything can happen in Rocket League. Yeet sending a ball, shoots it. Fortunately, could not get enough on it. Always a Wake Tech player there. Milo trying to go the distance. Playing a very more offensive role, which I think works pretty well for him. Um, he's been actually producing a lot, so he's been pretty perfect. Milo centering the ball, seeing if anyone's there. Unfortunately, Yi and Pingu are just in the back line trying to hold up. Ten seconds left. Brookdale making a mess of the little things in front of their net. Don't want to do that. Four, three seconds left. Wake Tech has only a few seconds and perfect, perfect way to end it. A little bit of a heart attack there for uh, Brookdale, but perfect play. Uh, great defensive work by all the players. Great chip shot by Pingu. Um, one of the taking advantage of the Wake Tech uh, defensive errors. That's perfect. Um, it's actually how Brookdale entered the se uh, season was... Uh, basically taking advantage of a lot of uh, other colleges' defensive errors, and we would just always snap up those goals. So it's good to see that they uh, still take that type of advantage in uh, this type of uh, in this type of series. So it is 1-1, Brookdale, Wake Tech. Um, that game, I feel like uh, you can't really specifically say a player of the match for that game. Um, they were all pretty good. So, um, And we jump right back into game three. Series tied 1-1. One, one. See uh, one of uh, see Pingu get exploded, fortunately. Yeet trying to make something out of it, though. Pingu in the back. Last man alive. Or last man back. Wake Tech does win an aerial. Great thing is Milo's always there to save it. Milo trying to create something with the ball. Fortunately, loses possession. Pingu trying to intercept the aerial, couldn't get enough on it. That's a two on one. Good thing that Milo and Pingu are there, or Milo and Yeet are there just to hold them off for for some for the meantime. Milo trying to create from the back line again. Here we go, Pingu. Taking an interesting center of, or trying to create a chance for Yeet. He tries to send the ball for anything and could not. Pingu. Definitely trying to... Try, trying to try, these guys are very uh, solo play. They try to make something of their own. Yeet. Taking a chance with that... Taking a chance with the centered ball. Milo. Sends the ball through. Fortunately, no one was there to put the ball in there. Very aggressive play by Brookdale. Again, this is exactly how you want them to play. This is, ex this is how they played last game. Yeet does get the ball bounced over him. Unfortunately, fortunately, Wake Tech does miss this miss out, but Yeet just taps the ball in a weird angle and just can't get a full connection on it. Pingo is stuck in the net. We do have Milo and Yeet in the back line, or back line though, to secure it. Milo trying to take it all the way. Does get past two defenders. See if he can get. See if Yi can uh, create something for Milo. And we just see Pingo does get demoed. Yi sending the ball through. Pingu ro roaming around, trying to see if he can get an angle here. Does intercept the ball twice, looking to get another one. Unfortunately, cannot. Yi. He does miss out on the shot, and Wake Tech does take a pretty decent shot, but unfortunately, fortunately, hits the post. Milo, going the distance, trying to secure some possession for us, or or possession back in the offensive half. Milo sends it in, centers the ball. Doesn't really amount to much. Oh, a couple Wake Tech players are there to meet it. Pingu just misses the ball. 
shoots it, just misses as well again, or just hits it, but doesn't get the full on. But Milo's there to secure the open chance. It was all hectic. It was really hard to see from a certain angle, but Milo was there to snug, snug in the ball into the bottom right corner, and it was perfect. Perfect play by Brookdale and all the players. Especially Yi and Pingu keeping that momentum and pressure up. That's exactly what you want to see from your attackers. And hey, if you're if you're if your defending player gets a goal, I mean, not gonna argue about that. Yeet takes a shot, unfortunately saved by Wake Tech. One of their players tracks back all the way. Wake Tech player, if he did not have boost, that was another goal for Brookdale. One nothing with one minute and fifteen to go. Pingu meets one of the Wake Tech players for an aerial. Does win it a bit. Fortunately, fortunately we do lose out on a bunch of uh, bunch of connections there, and Wake Tech is there to answer against us. Pingu trying his best to get back, but ball was just hit too hard and uh, a little rough there. 1-1, one, one, Brookdale Wake Tech, game three. With a minute left, see if Brookdale can answer back and see if they don't want to, obviously don't want to do another overtime. It'd be the third overtime game played today by Brookdale, so hoping to, hoping to see something, hoping to see a goal in regulation. Pingu, roaming around for a boost. Nice save by Milo, though. Milo trying to create while he just wins possession of the ball back. Yeet does kind of win that aerial. Does It is a dead ball. Milo with a save. It was an open net. The Wake Tech Forest player was celebrating and had that net completely wide open. He could have shot it and just completely just choked the ball. Milo, unfortunately, holds the ball in or keeps the ball on his head. Cannot do anything with it. Milo. With a, sh with a chance on net. Pingu! Oh, unfortunately, just couldn't put the ball in. It was supposed to sneak into that top left corner, I believe. That's where he wanted to go and just did not do that. Just completely just whiffed it. Or just just missed it. He had connection to the ball and just, just missed that top left corner, unfortunately. Great, great demo by uh, Brookdale right there. Milo, trying to see what he can do, holding the ball up. Nice shot by Pingu again. He's really aiming for those corners today. He's going to get one. He's going to get one. One of them is bound to go in. Another demo by Brookdale. Does lose possession of the ball, though, but Milo keeps it up there. Seems like this is the first overtime they've actually uh, been more aggre been the, the aggressors of the, of the two teams. From the last two overtime matches we've had. Milo trying to track the ball. Does it too, does it well. Pushes the ball back into their midfield. For Yeet to chase. Yeet unfortunately could not connect with the ball. But Pingu does. Pingu trying to apply some pressure. Milo there just to respawn back. Unfortunately the ball just trickles over. And chipped everyone from Brookdale. Which means Big Tech takes a 2-1 series lead in a game that Brookdale basically had. I mean, they just they were controlling the entire game, and fortunately, just that was just a rough, rough time. I mean, that was a rough shot. It just basically chipped over everyone, um, and uh, that secures Wake Tech a 2-1 lead. That's uh, that's unfortunate, really. Brookdale definitely did take, uh, Brookdale, they played really well that match. And um, honestly, I think they, the offense, the aggressiveness in that match, I guess, helped a lot. But um, I do want to say we do have something new for Brookdale, for streaming. We do have Twitch Primes. If, or we do have, or if we do have a subscription. So if you do have a Twitch Prime, you can subscribe now. You can become one of the Brookdalians subscribers. We have an emote. We have a badge. You guys can come on and, you know, show it off and show it off into other chats as well. So if you have a Twitch Prime 
subscribe right now. Be, be part of the Brookdale family. That's what I'm thinking. We also have our merch. Come get our merch. I was just wearing the sweater last series, but we have a water bottle, sweater, shirt, jerseys, mouse pads, stickers. Those are free. Um, but we have like a ton of things, t-shirts as well. So come on down. Sweaters sell pretty quickly. So I definitely come on down if you want to see one and uh, get one soon. But here we are with the next match. Game four. Brookdale down 2-1 in the series. Again, with another aggressive approach for Brookdale. Yeet has the ball. Trying to work the ball into, into their half. Fortunately, cannot. Great save by Pingu. Holding the ball, keeping control of it. Milo with a shot. Score. Brookdale, early lead. Finally, we see some, an early lead in this series. It's been all late goals, basically, from like one minute, two minutes left. It seems like all the goals have been coming from that time, but we finally see an early, early lead from a team, and it's Brookdale. But nice shot by Milo. And a great pass, I believe, by that was Pingu. Brookdale looking to stay off, stay aggressive, forcing, uh, forcing Wake Tech back a little bit. Pressuring every t every time they have the ball, they would always pre just a press. Brookdale does definitely need to stay aggressive. Definitely need definitely need one more goal. Can never. I don't think Wake Tech has failed to score in any of these matches. Actually, one of them, one zero, but that was a late late goal. Yeet trying to create something with that with some pressure. Unfortunately, cannot. Does get the ball back. Plays it into our own corner. Tries to get possession. Pingu does lose it a little bit. Just keeping in the midfield. Milo does lose track of it. A couple of the players lose track of it. Thank God Pingu was there. Pingu just launches it into their own half. Fortunately, no one there to respond. Milo holding on. Yeet takes a interesting aerial. Does keep it in their own half, though. Milo holding the ball onto it. Pingu and Yeet working together in a tandem, trying to keep the ball in Wake Tech's half, seeing if anything can come from these chances made. Yeet really pressuring, putting on the pressure, trying to take them all on. Nice shot by Milo. Unfortunately, saved by a Wake Tech player. I don't even know how that Wake Tech, Wake Tech player got there. It's pretty, pretty uh, in, instant agility right there. Here we go with Yeet. Trying to take the ball all the way. Fortunately, could not. Milo sends it in. Pingu just misses the shot. But Yeet's there to respond. Pingu. Fortunately, both of them cannot get to the ball. Just misses the net. Definitely want to finish those chances as you never know what happens with Wake Tech. Great shot by Yeet, but unfortunately Wake Tech, again, just there to save the ball. Milo, beautiful save right there. Now going all the way. Every time I see, it seems like Milo, every time he wins or saves the ball, he usually just takes it the distance and does great things. So honestly, I think it's a, I think it's a good tactic, you know, let Milo, let Milo cook a little bit when he saves it. Great shot by Milo and Fortree. Again, deflected off a Wake Tech player just to save it. Yeet with a nice shot right off the bar. Unfortunately, though, one of the Wake, one of the Brookdale players gets to demoed, but Milo's there to shoot the ball into the net perfectly. Past three players. I mean, great shot. Milo's putting on a pretty good, uh, pretty good masterclass game right now. Two goals, couple saves. But that's not without the help of Yi and my and uh and Pingu with their great passing. Wake Tech somehow does not score from that chance. It was three players in front of an or two players in front of like an open net. Completely missed it, both of them. Mid-air demoed, unfortunately, though. Nice shot by Pingu or Yi. Oh, I'm sorry, it was Pingu. My apologies. It was Pingu. Pingu is actually probably gonna Pingu and uh Milo are 
both man of the matches. I think joint man of the matches with that pass and also just the goals they've scored today. Puts Brookdale up 3-0 with a minute left is exactly what you want from Brookdale from a game four to force a game five and see what we can do. Um, that was perfect. That was perfect. Perfect play by Brookdale. Possession-wise, have been great. Aggressiveness, pressing, everything, everything about Brookdale in this game has been great. So, hopefully, they can uh, carry that into Game Five. Milo just keeping the ball in their half, and Pingu takes a little bit of a shot, trying to create something. You know, create something out of nothing. Yeet, there's always Yeet just applying the pressure, always pressing them. That's a perfect way to play. He's always there. Bothering the other opponents, passing, shooting, always there. Eat, trying to keep a uh, possession. Nice flip over one of the players from Wake Forest. Great save. Seven seconds left. Seems like all said and done for Brookdale, and we will have a game five. Perfect play by Brookdale, shutting out Wake Tech. Making even in this series 2-2 and going into a game five. I think it's the first game five of, of the season, actually. So we have Milo with two goals, two saves, and five shots with Pingu one goal, one assist, two saves, and Yeet with two, two assists. Perfect play out of everyone. It's usually actually it's kind of and kind of crazy. Yeet's usually the one that's uh scoring the goals. He's uh he's the main goal scorer for Brookdale, but it seemed like Milo is a little bit for today. Um Seems like a little bit of a um, change of swap of position. Seems like, I guess, uh, Yeet is uh, a little bit doing doing more defensive stuff. And Milo's more of an offensive mind today. With a little bit of defense, he has had his great save. So. But after this match, I mean, whoever wins this match takes the series. So here we are. Game five. Brookdale holding up their uh, aggressive... Play style this is exactly again what you want to see from Brookdale. Be as aggressive as you can. Pingu, pass one. Tries to go past another. Unfortunately, cannot. The angle he was taking was read by one of the Wake Tech Forest players or Wake Tech players. Keep thinking of that other college, Wake Forest. It's my inner college football talking. Yeet taking a shot. Fortunately, Wake Tech does save it. Milo dribbling the ball. Ariel, fortunately, could not get it past the last player. Pingu trying to put it in. Brookdale really trying to make, trying to push this ball into the net, but it hits everything but the back of the net. Milo loses out on the aerial. But good thing Yeet is there to supply it. Pingu just just a little late on that aerial, but. Does keep it in their own, does keep it in Wake Tech's half. Pingu, nice pressure on the Wake Tech players. Perfect play by Pingu, winning the ball back in both instances. But Wake Forest does, or Wake Tech does take it back. Ye trying to just cause mayhem, trying to cause anything of trouble to Wake Tech. He's being a little nuisance to them. Pingu shoots. Scores, perfect demo by Milo and a great shot by Pingu right in the area where he needed to shoot it. Perfect play by Brookdale, up 1-0. Still looking for another goal. Right off the rip, they are looking for something more. Yeet stops the ball from even coming close to that. Milo backs it off. One of the Wake Tech players just misses it. Milo. All by himself. Can't take it all the way. Just couldn't, though. One of the players was there to stop him. Pingu. Always, Pingu is there. Trying to carry it all the way. Wake Tech player is there. Just one of them actually respawn. Great play by Yeet. This is a really, uh, really defensive day for Yeet. He's uh, usually, again, goal scoring galore. He's usually scoring left and right, and now he's saving everything <laughs> so I think Milo and Yeet took a little bit of a swap you do have Milo still playing defensive a little bit but 
Seems like Yi's taking more of that uh, defensive prowess. Milo there to save it again. Wake Tech was there knocking on the door and unfortunately just could not put it in because Milo was there to deny him. Milo holding the ball up. Yi trying to fight for it. Nice aerial by Brookdale. Trying to create something here. Milo, unfortunately, could not get it past one. Pingo tries to get past another. Yeet does get demoed. This is a little bit of a unfortunate cir circumstances, but great play by Pingu. Oh, what a stop. What a fake by Yeet. Wow. <laughs> Completely crosses over the one of the Wake Tech players. Completely just left him for in the dust. Open net. Perfect play by Brookdale. It's 2-0 Brookdale with a minute 38 left. See, that's that's what you that's that's the offensive threat you get with Yeet. He's just in front of net, he's clinical. He is clinical. You can't stop him. He goes for another. He almost took it all the way. Thank God there was a Wake Tech player there. That would have been a third goal. Pingu trying to get on the action. Unfortunately, hits off the bar. Yeet. Holding the ball up. See what he can do. Milo just gonna say, you know what, Yeet? Let me take that away from you. Pingu, playing a little bit more defensive right now. Milo going all the way with it. See if he can connect. Unfortunately, he cannot. Yi is there, though. Oh, he tried to do the fake again, but unfortunately, cannot. One of the Brookdale players does get demoed. Great play by Milo to shift it back into their own half while he responds up and grabs some boost. Milo gets pushed into the net. They do not want him anywhere near him, anywhere near the net to finish off another chance. Yeet, there to cause trouble. Unfortunately, does lose a demo. We do lose Milo to a demo. Milo is back, trying to collect some boosts. 30 seconds left. See where Brookdale can uh, secure another goal or just keep the ball away from our net. Milo. And there's Pingu going off. Off the wall and securing a defensive play. Pingu again playing defense like crazy. And that's it. That's it. Milo score. Actually, Pingu does score. Milo with the assist. Everyone gets on the action for Brookdale. Great shot. Wake Tech pushed all their players up. No one there for behind. Well, besides one. But he was way too. It didn't seem like he had any boost for that. Four seconds left. It seems like Brookdale is going to win this series and go one and one on the day. Milo. The ball is still up in the air. Looking for a miracle, but unfortunately, unfortunately, the miracle did not happen. And Brookdale does take the series 3-2 against Wake Tech. Even though I kept calling them Wake Forest. Again, that is the college football in me. A, I think uh, Brookdale played a perfect match. Um, both game four and five. I mean, defensively, offensively. Yeet kept pressing them. He was causing a nuisance, but Yeet also was taking part of the defensive. He did. He did, uh, again. Yeet was taking a lot of the defensive uh, plays from Milo, so Milo could get up a little bit forward. Um, Pingu was pinging passes towards uh, some of the Brookdale players, so it was a lot. It was a good, well done job by the team. Good response after the first match of Lakawana. Um, but, yeah, one-on-one -on, -one on the day. Definitely want to take a win. And, uh, you know, good good way to end out uh, before spring break. So we will, uh, just to say again, we do have the water bottle and more merch. So if you guys want to come on down, spend a little bit of money to get some of this. Great water bottle, actually. It's pretty durable. I could just, like, throw it on the floor and it'll bounce right back up. Like, It's gone. Like, see, it's... It, no damage. Done. Perfect. You see that? That's perfect. That's, like, no scratches, nothing. Who wouldn't want that type of water bottle? Also, it's got Brookdale Esports. Good design, too. We also have our sweaters, our shirts, our jerseys, our mouse pads, everything. So, come on down. Buy them. Sweaters do go pretty fast. Um, we've already had like five or six bots so far, so 
they are running low and they won't be restocked probably until the end of semester probably not even until until, until the summer so definitely come on down we do have a couple of shirts left as well but um yeah thank you guys for watching uh brookdale does go one and one on the day uh it seemed like a pretty good play overall play by brookdale in the last series so we will uh see you next week for some more matches on tuesday